I'm Ellen Fisher, a wife and mother sharing our story of our simple island life. We love all things healthy vegan eats, homeschooling, and gentle parenting. share our love of gardening and growing our own food with goals to become sustainable on our land. I share healthy vegan recipes in my ebooks filled with tips, encouragement, vibrant photography, and delicious food that you and your family can enjoy. Check them out at ellenfisher.com and also linked below. All right, guys, we are making these delicious queso tacos with roasted cauliflower and a black bean salsa. I really hope you love the recipe. It's super different and delicious. And yeah, let's get started. These tacos are delicious and quite simple to make. First, you're going to set the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then dice and break apart a head of cauliflower into small chunks and spread onto a baking tray. You'll want them to be pretty small chunks, but some larger pieces are okay too. Sprinkle the cauliflower with two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Or if you don't have taco seasoning on hand like I didn't, just sprinkle onion powder, paprika, cumin, and chili powder. Mix the seasoning and cauliflower together lightly with your hands, then pop the tray into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, chop one medium carrot and two golden potatoes, or one large potato, and boil in a pot with water for about 15 minutes. While that's cooking, prepare the black bean everything salsa. Drain and thoroughly rinse two cans of organic black beans. Then finely dice two large tomatoes and half of an onion. Place them in a large serving bowl with one cup of corn, two limes juiced, and two diced avocados. Optionally, you can also add one cup of diced mango, but it's totally not necessary for this dish. It just adds a fun little twist. Pull the cauliflower out of the oven when it's finished cooking. And lastly, add in about half a cup of minced cilantro, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. When the potatoes and carrot are fork tender and cooked through, drain the water and pour them into a large high-speed blender, along with half a cup of raw cashews and a quarter cup of pine nuts. If you don't have pine nuts on hand, you can simply do three quarters cup of cashews or three quarters cup of macadamia nuts would be a great replacement for the cashews. Next, add in half a cup of plain tomato sauce, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and one cup of water. Blend it until totally smooth and creamy. Then taste it to adjust to your preferences. I then added two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar for a sour cake. And half a teaspoon of turmeric for color. I was out of pickled jalapenos this day, but a quarter cup of jalapenos would be so good in this instead of the apple cider vinegar. Once it's all blended and tasting to your liking, pour into a small pot to warm on low heat for about 5 to 10 minutes. Lightly mix together the black bean everything salsa and warm up your corn tortillas. Simply turn on a small saucepan on low heat with one tortilla at a time. Flip over 10 seconds on each side. Assemble the warm tortillas by layering baked cauliflower, some black bean everything salsa, and warm queso. Then add diced lettuce and optional hot sauce and bam, you're done. The full recipe is linked below for your reference. And another hot tip, making rice to go in these tacos is a great addition too.
These tacos turned out really good. I love the queso on top and it's a totally versatile dish. You do not have to add the mango if you don't have it. You could add rice to it if you want a little bit more calorically dense. And if you want a little bit more spice, add pickled jalapenos to the queso. So that's it and I hope you love the recipe.